Hey, what's up, everybody? Is it time to sell our physical silver holdings? I'm going to give you my opinion on this. Now, this is not financial advice. I'm not advising anybody to sell or to buy any silver. But there are some attractive prices out there as far as selling silver to online dealers. Some dealers you have to call and get the uh, buyback price but there is some pricing out there from some dealers um, and there's better deals for uh, selling some silver items versus other silver items but we are looking right now at spot price um, some will say that the physical price has separated from the paper price but when I walk into my local coin shop this is what they have hanging on the wall they quote me either selling or buying off of the Kitco spot price. So this is what I go off of. Now, selling your precious metals, a lot of us have a hard time selling. We love buying, we love hoarding, we love stacking precious metals. Selling is not always the easiest, and I am in that same boat. I, I do not like selling precious metals. but. I am also not afraid to sell precious metals. I'm not afraid to sell gold. I'm not afraid to sell silver um, if the price is right and I can pay off some more debt. Um, and I don't have a lot of debt, but there is some, you know, one vehicle that I'm still working on paying off. Would love to pay off the mortgage. Um, and, you know, sometimes the price is just too good to, to pass up compared to when I bought it and when the time is right to sell so we're gonna talk about that we're, we're gonna look at some online dealers we're gonna see what the buyback prices are and there is one dealer who is quoting um, some pretty good prices for certain things and you know average prices for others but we're gonna take a look at that we're gonna dive into that let me know in the comment section below what do you think are you buying right now or are you selling or are you just holding um, for higher prices? Or maybe you're holding because you think that the crapper is going to hit the fan even more. Um, uh, so let me know in the comment section below what you're doing. But we're going to take a look. We're going to take a look at this right now. So right now we're on Atmex. And um, if we want to sell to Atmex, um, the way I like to do is I like to look at first. I like to look at generic versus American Silver Eagles. Um, that's mainly what I stack. I stack generic and I stack mostly American Sil American Silver Eagles ASEs and then a little bit of generic. So that's what I like to look at when I look at uh, buyback prices from online dealers. That's what I like to look at. So let's look at American Silver Eagles. Let's see what they're selling them for. Let's see what they're buying them for if it's listed. Um, and I like to look at when I like... I like to look at random dates. Um, it's always more expensive buying the current year. So I like to just look at, you know, random dates. I have all sorts of dates of American Silver Eagles. So if I did, so if I do decide to sell American Silver Eagles, I like to look at the random dates. Now, the random date. Now, we just looked at Kitco spot price. It was $15.40. Atmax is selling for $26.17. I am just not buying at this price. I am holding off on all buying of silver, especially American Silver Eagles. I don't think we're going to see American Silver Eagles, as far as buying them, uh, cheaper anytime soon. Um, not until these mints open back up fully. Um, it's kind of unknown right now if the West Point Mint is fully open. Um, there's debate on rather, you know, the West Point Mint is open to full to full production or not. Um, and we know that the San Francisco Mint is shut down. And we just don't know the status of a lot of the world mints as far as what they're making and what they're not making and if they're in full business. Um Perth Mint, Royal Canadian Mint, the Royal Mint, um, the U.S. Mints. We just don't know. Um, 
so we don't know what the availability is. So I, I, I don't think we're going to see low, you know, um, better buy prices for quite a while until the um, economy and everything opens back up uh, fully. Um, we just don't know. I mean, it may not be until we see a vaccine until everything opens up 100%. So we just don't know um, what the availability is as far as these online dealers buying these coins. But what is the buyback price? So I'm definitely not buying at this price. Um, but what is the buyback price? Well, for as far as AppMax is concerned, it does not give you a buyback price. Um, if you want to sell to them, you're going to have to call and get their buyback price. Um, but if we go look at JM Bullion, let's go look at JM Bullion real quick. JM Bullion, for a lot of things, is listing a lot of buyback prices. Um, and some things is better than others. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at generic first. Let's take a look at silver rounds. Um, and we're going to look at just, you know, like random silver rounds, see what they're going to be buying these back for. Now, this is quoting one ounce silver town rounds. I don't see any other really random generic. Um, so let's take a look at this. So if you want to sell generic silver rounds or buy. So it's about three dollars or so over spot if you want to buy generic rounds. I am definitely not buying at that price for nineteen dollars and sixty nine cents. Now, you may think silver uh, physical silver demand is going to go through the roof, you know, in the next week or two weeks or month down the road. And maybe you are willing to pay $19.69 for uh, generic silver rounds. How much are they paying? They are, their buyback price for generic silver rounds, silver town anyway. I don't know about the other sunshine mint. We can look at that. Uh, but their buyback price is $15.80. Uh, what is, and silver spot price according to jm bullion is fifteen dollars and sixty cents so they are paying a couple of pennies a couple of pennies over spot for generic now at my local coin shop typically they pay spot price nothing more nothing less for most generic rounds or just generic silver rounds bars in general they are paying spot price and uh, right now you can get you can sell your generic um, at least Silvertown. Let's take a look at uh, let's take a look at Sunshine. See if there's any uh, Sunshine uh, rounds on here. Sorry, that was coins. Silver rounds. Let's see if there's any Sunshine. I know a lot of people like to stack the Sunshine, and I am not seeing any uh, Sunshine on here if you have one ounce jam rounds um, so it just brings you right back to basically uh, silver town uh, that's their pricing okay so what about american silver eagles that's the bulk of my stack is american silver eagles let's take a look at american silver eagles all right, let's take a look at the random date American Silver Eagles. And they are selling them for $24.49. Again, I am not a buyer at that price um, for American Silver Eagles. But if we look at their buyback price, and I want to shout out um, Silver Bean Counter. Silver Bean Counter, uh, about a week ago, and then again, I think yesterday, uh, showed the buyback price from JM Bullion for uh, American Silver Eagles. And they are buying them back at $18.60. So if you're a, a seller for, you know, if you want to liquidate some of your American Silver Eagles, I mean, when they're offering to buy them back, uh, this is about $3.20 some cents over spot over the paper uh, spot price 
you know that they're having a hard time keeping American Silver Eagles in stock when they're offering $3. They're offering to buy American Silver Eagles from you for uh, $3, over $3 over spot. Typically, they sell American Silver Eagles for, you know, $3, $3.50, over spot, but they're willing to buy random date american silver eagles off of you for for that price now for me that's tempting i'm not selling my american silver eagles right now um if i was to sell silver i would rather start selling generic and then you know liquidate the very last thing in my silver stack would be probably american silver eagles but if you look at the buyback price of generic silver versus um, selling American Silver Eagles. Obviously, this is the better price. This is the better. They're offering a pretty good uh, buyback price for the American Silver Eagles compared to selling the uh, generic. So let me know what you guys think about that. Um, now, of course, I would, you know, before, you know, if I was to sell American Silver Eagles before accepting that price, I would definitely call call Atmex call um, uh, Monument Metals, call other online dealers, call your local coin shop. Maybe your local coin shop is offering a, p a pretty big premium. Um, I haven't talked to my LCS in over a week, but at that time they were still only paying a buck over spot for American Silver Eagles. Um, and I'm not big into, you know, shipping a big amount of silver in off you know through through the uh, uh, United States Postal Service or UPS um, because there's always a risk when uh, mailing in my opinion um, a lot of silver or gold through the mail getting lost and stuff like that so um, I would rather sell to my local coin shop but at this price if you're a seller of American Silver Eagles um, that's not a horrible price as far as selling. But uh, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Of course, none of this was advice, just having a, a discussion. What do you think? Are you a buyer? Are you a seller? Are you holding um, for more, for worse um, economic times um, in the future? Let me know what you guys think. Please like, comment, subscribe. And again, uh, if you're a seller, I would suggest shopping, um, shopping around and see if this is, if that price, if that buyback price, if these buyback prices from JM Bullion can be beat or not. So thanks a lot, everybody. Please like, comment, subscribe. I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.